How to know a fake and power transition data collection form. Before we proceed, please kindly click the subscribe button and bell to stay updated with trending videos and don't forget to like share. Though the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs has asked and power state focal persons to collect data of batch A and B exiting and power beneficiaries interested in the ministry transition opportunities, they do not create a unified avenue for volunteers' information collation. Instead, they ask that the data be collated state by state. A situation that has kept and power volunteers confused due to too many data collection form links circulating online. We urge volunteers to be careful with the information circulating on social media regarding their exit packages. Do not disclose your personal data to the online fraudster. It's absolutely risky to do so. Before you fill any form, make sure it is authentic. Look out for your state focal person phone number for inquiry. You can visit the NSIP office in your state for an update. How to know a fake and power transition data collection form. Below are how to identify fake and power transition form. 1. Avoid the NPower transition form that specify data collection for all NPower volunteers in Nigeria. 2. Data collection is done with each state using different methods to collect information. 3. Avoid transition forms that demand any information aside the information requested by the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. 4. Avoid data collection form that is full of error. If NPower wanted volunteers to fill a unified form, they would have sent the link to volunteers' email directly or published the link on their official page. Please kindly click the subscribe button and bell to stay updated with trending videos and don't forget to like share.